Here's something that I want to share with you. See, wherever you are today in your life financially is a direct reflection of the decisions you made or chose not to make several years ago. See, the reason I've been able to get to where I am today is because 10, 15 years ago, in, in my late 20s and early 30s, I didn't party. I was considered what people would call a lame. I would sit at home. I didn't travel. I, I didn't do nothing. I, I drove an older model vehicle. Even once I started making good money on my nine to five, I did not increase my living expenses. I did all of the sacrifices up front because of the decisions I made which is why I'm able to move so much more fluid in life. See, the decisions in your life will affect your outcome tomorrow. Let's break down what a decision is, what the word means. A decision is the act of choosing an option among several possibilities. See, I know people who had a decision, who could have made the decision to start working in the REI 92 years ago and they did it and their financial situation got worse. They went and spent more money because a person had a flashier act in mind. See, I, I don't want to, I don't go out and, and rent cars and helicopters so I can come back and charge $50,000 for my coaching program. So now I got to charge all more. See, a decision involves evaluating information. I want you all to evaluate the information I'm sharing with you. I'm not talking, I'm not highlighting my lifestyle on here to get you to make a decision. I'm giving you facts. Consider different alternatives. I spoke to someone the other day who got involved in another real estate coaching program a while back. And what they did was, is they, you know, preached to them this prosperity of having this abundant life of wealth. Okay. Now, this is why I tell you all, you got to start learning the definition of words. Wealth is having an accumulation of assets. And so in this other real estate coaching program that charged them $40,000, there's very few coaching programs of this magnitude that charges less than 30 grand. Very few. It was $40,000. And what they were doing was, is they were convincing her to go out there and do all of this real estate flipping. And here's what I've been saying for the past five years. Flipping real estate does not give you that freedom you said that you want or the reason you got into real estate was for freedom. Flipping does not do that for you because it doesn't amass assets. You don't hold on to the asset as a flipper. You don't hold on to the asset as a wholesaler. Once that transaction is done with this house, so once I fix this house up and then sell it to Daniel, this house is no longer in my possession, which means I no longer make money from this property. So all I try to do is give you all the information so that you can evaluate it. So you can evaluate it. Decisions can be simple or complex and are made in various aspects of life, such as personal, professional, and financial. When making decisions, Factors such as objectives, values, consequences, risks, benefits can all be considered. I even teach you how to mitigate your risk. Nobody else is talking about risk factor. Nobody else is talking about the velocity of money, meaning how fast you put it out, how fast you can get it back. These are concepts I've been teaching for about six years. See, I broke the word decision down, which is an acronym. D, define the problem. Most people's problem is not money. We think it is, it's not. Most people's problem is a strategy. Even if you have bad credit, it's a strategy problem. Even if you don't have a lot of money, it's still a strategy problem. Why? Because you can go make money doing anything. Is that most people don't wanna work. One of my students, Diamond Washington, says she drove Uber and donated blood. I know a lot of people not willing to make that sacrifice. They don't wanna put no miles on their car. People say, I don't wanna run them miles up on my car. It's a car. Go make some more money and go get another car. So D, define the problem. E, explore all possibilities. See, I show you all of the possibilities of how to win in this game. I also show you the possibilities of other games that are out there where people are constantly losing. See, here's the thing I've learned about real estate flipping. Everybody is going out there trying to flip $300,000 houses. Well, just like the other lady who I spoke to the other day, when the deal didn't go right because the contractor ran off or you run out of money, it's hard to sell an uncompleted flip for more than what you paid for it to get your money back. But if I paid $75,000 for this house and my circumstances change financially, I can still sell this house for $75,000. Again, C, compare alternatives. When it comes to real estate, you got wholesaling, you got real estate flipping, 
I've never met a person who, who wholesales real estate who's saying, man, every first of the month I get a check. If you don't flip those contracts, you don't get paid. I never met a real estate flipper unless they have a construction company that says every first of the month I get mailbox money. No, I've still yet to meet a rich flipper. I've yet to meet a rich real estate flipper. I've yet to meet a rich wholesaler. Now they may be rich because of the program they sell, or they may be hustling every single month, but you can't take a month off as a real estate flipper. You can't take a month off as a wholesaler. By buying and holding real estate, I could chill every single month. Cause I know every single month, five figures is being deposited into the bank account of my various companies. And I can borrow against the asset. I can go and pull money from this to go and invest in other things, to buy a car, buy a watch or whatever I choose to do. Comparing alternative. What's your alternative to being able to make consistent money every month? Identify key factors. I'm gonna point that out to you all tonight. Select the optimal solution, okay? People saying, well, credit is a, is a barrier. We have a solution for that. People are saying credit is a, uh, not having capital is a barrier. We have a solution for that. Now it may take some time because you may have to restabilize. Some of you guys have rotten fi fi financial foundation. We have to restabilize your foundation. Remember, if a person is saying that they are getting into real estate for freedom, flipping does not provide you financial freedom. You get a big check up front, but then you still got to pay taxes. You still got to pay realtors. You still got to do all of these things. Once I own that property, I now have increased my net worth. When you flip, your net worth does not increase. So now it doesn't solve your problems. Because everybody on here, I'm pretty sure, can say that they want financial freedom. Flipping does not solve your financial freedom. All it does is it greases your life for the time being. See, at 80, I could still be collecting rent checks. At 80, I'm not going out there flipping. I initiate action. Are you ready to start? Because remember, you're stuck now because of the decision you didn't want to make in 2023 or in 2022 or for people who've been following me for the past seven years in 2016 and 15. So you got to initiate action today. Sense of urgency. Observe progress and negotiate changes if necessary. Do you got to renegotiate your terms of your life? Have you been thinking too small? Are you around negative people? Are you bombarded with bad information from your parents, from your pastor, from your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife? I've seen teenagers and people in their early 20s make better financial decisions. And when they try to tell their parents, mom or daddy, this makes more sense. And they say, shut up, boy. You don't know what you're talking about. That's why y'all kids. Let me not say y'all. They're going to give me cancer. Come on. We got to get out of La La Land.